Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 9th of 2023. Well, it is titled Tales of Comet ZTF. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a gigantic snowball in space. And that's essentially how we can describe a comet. It's a dirty snowball, meaning it's a lot of icy material, which doesn't mean just water ice, although that is included. It can also have things like methane and ammonia and other compounds in it. And it also contains some dusty material, so dusty sooty material that would also be present there. Now, when it comes close to the sun, that material becomes heated by the energy of the sun and is vaporized. And that's when a comet can actually be visible. Typically, the nucleus of a comet would be a few kilometers, a few miles across, and would be completely invisible to the unaided eye, no matter how close to Earth it was. However, when it comes closer to the sun, it forms a large halo, as we see here in the green, and we see the tails stretch stretching back. In this case, we see the dust tail fanning out toward the upper left, very short tail there. Uh, that is slightly larger particles. And then we see the ion tail stretching back to up to the upper right of individual atoms that are pushed away by the sun. Now both of those tails point away from our sun. It is the sun's energy that is pushing them back backward away from the comet's head. And that's what actually makes the comet visible. When all that material is now visible around it, making the comet appear much larger than it otherwise would, and the long tails that can stretch across the sky. Now the best time to view a comet is when it is closest to the sun as that's when it has the most energy and it will appear the brightest or when it is closest to Earth. Of course it will also be bright when it is close to Earth. And if those two happen to correspond that can make for a relatively bright comet. Now at this point comet ZTF may become visible to the naked eye but will not be a super bright comet although comets are very irregular and hard to predict exactly how bright they're going to be. But that's the current prediction is that it might become visible just to the edge of vision without a pair of binoculars but will be a nice sight through binoculars or through a small telescope. And this will occur, it passes this coming week, it'll pass closest to the sun, and then it will pass closer to the Earth in about a month in early February, it'll begin passing close to Earth. So around that time between around the middle of January will probably be about the best time to get a chance to be able to see this comet. So that was our picture of the day for January 9th of 2023. It was titled Tales of Comet ZTF. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Interstellar Cone. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.